Ireland for Ladbrokes Vincent Delaney Memorial Race. Now this is a major event in the world of harness racing and it attracts horsemen and horsewomen and fans from all over the globe. So what makes this race so unique? Let's find out. This memorial race takes place over three action-packed days. It was first started by Derek and James Delaney as a special tribute to their brother Vincent Delaney. We started the race in 2012 because we could have passed away in 2011, so basically we set up a memorial race in his memory so we can remember him every year and give our family a good day out every year. I think the event is so unique because the people that's in the sport, the harness racing, have a big passion for the sport and I think they're all just, it's like a big family, a community type of sport and like people travel from all over and um, I suppose maybe the story behind the event as well is why it's getting a lot of support because a lot of friends and family are really helping out and, and, and businesses that we deal with the sponsorship and that so it's just really grown. Over 2,000 harness racing fans will visit over the weekend as well as horsemen and women from stables in Ireland, Scotland, England, Wales, from all over Europe. Plus, the United States, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, Sweden, and Belgium will all be competing. <laughs> wow! I love your colors so much. Nice. What's the story behind them? Well, the old-fashioned dragon was King Arthur, called from his father called Pendragon. And um, he wore an emblem of the dragon and it became a symbol of Wales, which is my country where I was born. So um, it's a national flag, we are nationalistic people, so um, it's a flag of the people, so anyone can wear it. And uh, I chose to wear it because I was in Russia for the International Driving Championships in uh, 2008, and I made the set of colours to return. I've yet to return. So <laughs> when I raced at Plain Ridge Race Course, they uh, coined the phrase Dragon Man. And I won my first race in there with these colours, so they brought me luck. Hopefully they'll bring me luck today. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was so the Dragon Man rides again. I love it, I love it. <laughs> yeah, you'll represent your country well today. Good luck. Thank you. behind the scenes of harness racing. We're in the race paddock. This is where our two-legged stars and our four-legged stars are because the horses are getting ready to compete back here. You know, I'm ready to meet some of the racers today. Come on. Cran, you're here as a fan instead of having horses compete like you do in New Zealand. So what do you think about this event? Well, I'm blown away by the passion these horse people have towards this racing. Uh, the professionalism, I shouldn't say I'm surprised, but I know am. It's very, very high. I'm sure the track, we'd love to see bigger tracks for them, and I know they'd love to have bigger tracks, but uh, the way the horses are geared up, the way they're rigged, the professionalism is very, very good. You're here in Ireland, so this is like a great place to be, so much fun. Are you having an amazing time? Well, you can't help but have a good time in Ireland. The people, they laugh, they joke, they drink, they party. No one worries or no one stresses in this country. Look who I found, three-time Canadian driver of the year, Jody Jameson. Dude, I like wake up this morning and I read this press release and it says, Jody's coming to Ireland today. What's that all about? Yeah, I guess it, the secret got out, I guess. Uh, we were trying to keep it a secret for as long as we could, but um, I talked to Alan Wallace, uh, who's got a cult in the Vincent Delaney Memorial. Uh, he was in the limbs yesterday, he won as a limb, so uh, I've, been, I've been planning on coming for a couple weeks, maybe three weeks, and uh, we didn't want to tell anybody, we were playing a little bit of a joke on some of his buddies, so um, he called me last night from the bar and 
and uh, while I was sitting in the airport and said, I need you to come over, I need you to come over. So I said, well, I guess I can maybe look for a flight and see if I can't get over there for the morning. And, and uh, lo and behold, here I am, 8 o'clock this morning, uh, pulling up to Port Marnock Racetrack, checking it out. Excited as hell to get it going. Yeah, I mean, you have a drive in the big race, and you've obviously heard about this day, this event. Uh, what have you heard? Well, um, James and Derek uh, Delaney, they, they, you know, they come to the States lots of uh, bought horses over there to bring back here to race. And, uh, you know, the, it was a tragedy. They lost a brother here a few years ago and uh, wanted to do something in his memory. And uh, this, is what, this is what they did. I think three years ago it started. And, uh, you know, they've, I've heard maybe not uh, been asked directly but definitely uh, you know implied that they'd love to have me come over and um, when Alan called and said he had a horse in the big race that I, that I could drive uh, his son his son is actually the regular driver but he's away at a wedding um, so uh, you know it was, it was something that I just I, I had to think twice about for a minute and then when I then I was really surprised at myself for thinking twice about it because it was such a great opportunity and like you say some, someone who uh, a real wise man told me you only live once and uh, you know you gotta leave it all out there every time every day so um, I'm just so pumped to be here and uh, just I already tried the track out once and uh, it's like it's gonna be an awesome day let me just tell you, you're excited to be here. There are so many people excited that you are here. I mean, it's like the buzz around the racetrack. Jody Jameson is here today. Very cool. So you're going to have so much fun with fans today. Well, I, I, that's all. That's what it's all about, right? The fans. So uh, you know, I actually, I actually came in late so I could uh, kill the buzz of George Brennan and Dexter Dunn being here. So because uh, we got the world champion, and then obviously George Brennan, one of the greatest drivers ever in the history of the sport. So um, I wanted to come in after the fact and create my own little buzz. So I think I've achieved that a little bit, right? <laughs> Absolutely, I love your style. Thank you, Jody. One of my all-time favorite drivers is here. It's George Brennan. George has won the Hambletonian, the Hambletonian Oaks a couple times, and he's driven the fastest horse in the entire world, a Holborn Hanover. So it's so much fun to have him in Ireland. Some of the biggest names in harness racing are attracted here for this incredible event, including the legendary Hall of Fame announcer, Roger Houston. You know, the Vincent Delaney Memorial is an unique race. Number one, in the States, we don't have eliminations the day before the final. So it's unique in that style that they have the eliminations on Saturday and then they race the final on Sunday. That's unique. The second thing is half mile racing. It's a major race. But it, to me, the half mile track is the best in the world. The fans are close up and personal and it means a lot to the racing fans. The third thing that makes this entire weekend so unique, not only the horsemen who are so dedicated to harness racing, but the fans who come out here and watch these races. That is what makes harness racing unique, the people involved. And would you believe Roger Houston will call his 170,000th race today? Uh, the twelfth race today, the final, will be number 170,000. Uh, I'm 99 and 44, 100% sure nobody has called that many races. In fact, is uh, nobody's even close. And I don't think anybody will ever reach that point in their announcing career. Uh, I've been going at it for 56 years, and I, I hope i got a few more years to go. Bring them to the post for the tenth race. I've been looking around the paddock trying to find the favorite for the Vincent Delaney Memorial and it's miraculous and the trainer is Sally T-Bone. Oh, he is so beautiful. Tell me about miraculous. Uh, we bought him at the sales last year, um, British bred. Um, his brother broke the three-year-old record this year so we thought, oh, we made a good choice at the sales um, and he's just kept improving all year. But he's a sweetheart. He is, he's like nibbling on yeah. you, giving you oh, kisses. He does do, yeah. <laughs> uh, now, are you nervous, excited? What's going through your mind? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not have the favourite mind. I'd rather be an underdog, but yeah, I mean, it probably deserves to be favourite, but what goes off in the races, like, you need a bit of luck as well, don't you? Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. You do. Uh, now, what would it mean to you if you won this race? 
Oh, it's just been absolutely brilliant. Uh, we've been coming over here now for three years. We had one, the little horse over there, he was second in the race two years ago. He came back and won the three-year-old in September last year. So just to get the two-year-old would be real, real cool. Yeah, it oh, would. Yeah. Wow, so much luck to you today. And uh, he looks like a winner to me, uh, you know, so. <laughs> Mwah, I'll give you a kiss for good luck as well. Mwah. <laughs> Guys earlier gave me a winning ticket and I cashed it in. Got some chump change, just a thousand bucks, you know, or a thousand euros. <laughs> all right, all on miraculous. Thank you. You want to kiss it for me for good luck? I'll kiss you and all. Facing party at the spa goes for the lead. JM's Macy Hall stars second. Up on the outside, in it's the turn. Meadow Branch Queen goes off stride. Getting away third, Spring Hill catch. On to the backside they go. Here comes party at the spa. Moving up on the outside. Miraculous has the lead down the backside. Now by three, party at the spa. Up on the outside, second. Racing third, JM's Macy Hall star. Racing fourth, the end of the turn. Spring Spring Hill catch, racing fifth, Newtown Rock, opening quarter 29 and 7. And here comes Newtown Rock and Jody Jameson, now fifth, now fourth, moving up on the outside. Also moving on the outside with cover is Meadow Branch Roman and Dexter Dunn. Down the stretch they come for the first time, coming to the halfway point. Miraculous shows the way for Pat Kane Jr., racing up on the outside. Newtown Rock, second, racing. Third into the turn party at the spa. Fourth on the outside, Meta Branch Roman. Inside fifth, JM's Macy Hall star. Halfway home in a minute and two tenths. On to the backside they go. On the outside, Meta Branch Titus now sixth, but they've got a lot of ground to make up. Racing seven, Spring Hill catch and true running the field. Meta Branch Queen following the break. Down the backside, going to the three quarter mark. Miraculous continues to lead the way. Three quarters in one, 30 and three. And around the turn, here comes the man of the day. John Richardson, Meta Branch Titus on the outside, making a break. Meta Branch Roman, less than an eight to go. On top of the field, Miraculous coming to the outside. Newtown Rock. Coming home, Miraculous, Newtown Rock, Miraculous on the inside wins the Vincent Delaney two-year-old title. Newtown Rock, second, Meadow Ranch Titus, third. The world, Miraculous won, the Sadi T-Bone, Pad to Kane Jill. Well done, Paddy. Congratulations. These men here won, didn't you? Speak to the camera. The winner, the Vincent Delaney, how are you? <laughs> yeah, marvellous. Love it. <laughs> I don't mind having the favourite now. <laughs> Are you going to work tomorrow? No chance. Hey, no chance. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Patrick Kane Jr.
Okay, I want to do a special presentation of a bouquet of flowers to Bernie. She's the Secretary of Vincent's Race since day one. Um, without Bernie, the race wouldn't be possible with the amount of hard work she puts in behind the scenes. It's just unyielding. And I'd really like to show my appreciation with this bunch of flowers. Thank you.